Are you considering a move to the Contra Costa area and wanting to know about education and schooling for your little guys and preteens and high schoolers? Well, in today's video, we're going over the top five school districts in Contra Costa. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned. What's up guys, Rachel Capilla here, realtor in the East Bay area. We are going over all things San Francisco Bay area related here, having fun, playing, relocating, you name it, we got you covered in this channel. So click the subscribe button, smash that like bell to get that YouTube algorithm going and let us know what you wanna hear. Big shout out to those people that are asking questions and reaching out to us. We love helping you relocate and get you situated in the Bay. So keep them coming. Just make sure to DM, PM, email, whatever you feel comfortable with. We got you covered when coming on over to the Bay Area. All right, so you are either moving to the San Francisco Bay Area or live in the San Francisco Bay Area and are curious about Contra Costa and what this area has to offer as far as schooling. I get this question a lot and I'm going to answer it in this video. So stay tuned. We are going over the top five school districts in the Contra Costa area. So if you're a San Francisco Bay area native, local, and relocating within the Bay, or if you are completely new and coming in here from out of country, out of state, we're gonna answer the top five school districts in the Contra Costa area, which is a pretty hot area right now. And let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna collect the data from niche.com. They've rated the top five in the area. And you can also go to greatschools.org. The number one school district is Akalani's. Akalani's Union High School District. So I'm going to kind of talk about it and then I'm gonna show you niche.com, but that is number one, Akalani's. So number one on the list is Akalani's Union High School District. Obviously this one is an A plus. It is located basically, let me show you the schooling area, the vicinity. You're gonna be in Arenda, Lafayette, and Moana Creek here. And the high schools are gonna be Campbell Lindo High School, Miramani, Akalani's Los Lomos, and Akalani's Sunny for Independence but that's probably not like Akalani's, the high school. All A plus, I've had plenty of people that I know that have gone through this unified school district and they love it. They speak very highly of it. A lot of the friends that I know are very successful and I just think it pumps out kids that are gonna be successful in life. So it's just A pluses all the way around, minus B plus for clubs and activities and B minus for diversity. So this is one thing that if you are gonna be wanting diversity, it's a B minus. So that means there's not a lot of diversity here. You're gonna get that more in San Ramon and in the other school districts that are gonna be, I'm gonna be talking about next. But diversity here is not great. So that's something to take into consideration. And the other thing to take into consideration when moving here and relocating is the housing prices. Now let's see what they have done here. Median home price is 1.4. I don't know about that. Maybe they're including condos in there. Single family residence, you're looking at about, I would say a minimum 1.3 and up minimum. So that's just getting in. On average, you'll probably be at like 1.56, 7-ish. Uh, in this neighborhood. Maybe you want a creek, it, you're kind of starting at 1.52. So this number is a little bit low is what I'm saying. So that's why the cost of living is a D plus. It's not defending well the city of Lafayette and Mono Creek and Orinda. It's expensive here. You're gonna pay to play and you're gonna have to pay for your education, which is one beef I have with California, but it's just the law of the world, I think. It just is what it is. More money you have, the more options you have. And the option here is that the schooling that your kids are gonna go to are great. The housing is beautiful. You're gonna have great community Communities, you're gonna have space it's gonna be really nice obviously downtown as you get closer to downtown it might not be the same but overall great here is a and you're gonna get your kids are gonna be going to let's take a look average SAT scores 1320 ACT 30 96 graduation rate percentage looking California Los Angeles Berkeley Santa Barbara Davis we've got plenty of kids going to all kinds of UC's here great state schools and you're gonna be surrounded by kids that are gonna go to college so what you want for your kids is important and if that is important to you then this is going to be a great school district for you so that's number one Akalani's Unified or Union Akalani's Union High School District is number one Okay, now on to number two, top school district in the Contra Costa area. We are here again at niche.com and you can see San Ramon Valley Unified School District is number two. Now let's go over the overall grade from niche.com. Academics is A plus, teachers A, B for clubs and activity, B for B plus for diversity, A plus for college prep, health and safety, A minus. I actually went through this school district and I went to Cal High, which is in San Ramon right here. You can see on the map, um, there's San Ramon, Danville, 
Bell, and then you get up into Wanna Creek. So where this unified school district is gonna be is down here on the map, basically San Ramon and Danville. And you are going to get excellent schools here. Second, obviously, to Akalani's, but I had a great experience. I had plenty of fun. I swam. I did club swimming at, at Cal High, and I mean, it's grown so much since I graduated. I went to UC Santa Barbara. I got into multiple schools academically first, and then I also swam. I ended up going to UC Santa Barbara, and the coach wanted me to swim there, but I got in academically first. So let's go over the average. Um, you can see here, they're all A's. It's just great scoring. So average SAT is 1300, ACT is 30. So graduation rate 97. So you're gonna be like an A plus for the University of College Los Angeles. This is how many students went Berkeley. I mean, you're gonna get excellent, excellent attention and academics here. So uh, I had a great, great time in San Ramon. Lots of diversity. Uh, you, what's gonna happen here is you're gonna get a lot of Asian and Indian influence coming from the south, like south 680 where the technology sector is they're going to be kind of creeping up here at pleasanton dublin commuting into san jose so you're going to have that diversity if you're really into and diversity is, diversity is super important to you i've had that come up a lot i don't actually i'm not actually at the schools but i've heard from friends and clients and family that yeah it's definitely diverse there so you're going to be experiencing that and if that's something that you want then it's definitely a good thing but if you are not into diversity maybe it's not the best thing for you so you have to decide for that for yourself and your family i personally loved it when i grew up it wasn't super diverse i was probably like one of the 10 15 asians at my high school but we all you know had a great time and i've never experienced any racism any type of asian hate like none of that i've ever experienced so it's all new to me i think the news likes to glamorize it a bit but i, I definitely don't want to say that it's it's not happening, but it's just something that I've never experienced. You know, I've, I've had a wonderful experience. I've made lifelong friendships, 20 plus years of friends from high school, and we still talk to this day. So I highly recommend the school district. Like I said, I can speak to it because I went to school here. I did not go to Akalani's. I had many friends go to Akalani's and you know, loved ones that have gone to Akalani's high school that are Akalani's school district that they absolutely adore and love the school district. They're very successful. So I think that you cannot lose with going either Akalani's or San so as far as diving deeper into the schools and you know that stuff like that you have to get online and maybe contact the schools directly to ask specific questions but niche.com is a great place to start and San Ramon is number two now on to the number three school district in the Contra Costa area we are looking at Liberty Union High School District so this is going to be in the Brentwood area and you can see here you have an A minus overall and for academics A minus teachers A diversity A a college prep a health and safety C and clubs and activities C plus not sure why those are lower but diversity here will be good that's important to you some people that's not really important and they just want a super vanilla ice cream <laughs> school and you won't obviously get that here if that's what you want now where this map is located of this school district is here in Oakley basically Brentwood and Discovery Bay so it's just kind of past San Ramon a little bit and I'm gonna have to do a video on Brentwood because people are asking about Mountain House and Brentwood and it's basically Brentwood. The way that I think about Brentwood is I don't think it's a bad town. I think that it's just really far out there and what happens is if you look on this map here, it's just super far. So if you're trying to have active life in the Bay Area, you're going to be stuck in Brentwood. You're not going to really leave here. The people that go and move to Brentwood are going to want to stay there and live there and not leave because it's a master plan community. It's got all the cheesecake back factory and downtown that there's no need for you to leave other than to work in San Francisco. And so the reason why, one of the main reasons why the traffic is so bad is people from Brentwood, Mountain House, and all these far towns commute into the city. So as you get into Concord, it's just, it's brutal. It's absolutely brutal. Like, so if you want to move to Brentwood, you need, should you should talk to me first or our team first before you move because you're going to have to have certain threshold for traffic. And if you just want to stay in Brentwood and live there, it's absolutely, it's fantastic. Like it's a master plan community. It's great. It's hot. It's way hotter out there than it would be in like Pleasant Hill, Wanna Creek, La Miranda. 
and Sarah Ramon. It's just stuff that you have to take into consideration, but there's more diversity there. Let's take a look at the grades here. Heritage High, A, A, B, and C. La Loma High, C+. Plus. So average SAT scores are a little bit lower than Sarah Ramon, 1150, and a little bit lower than Aquilani's, which is why it's number three on the list. So um, graduation rate, 92%. These are all good. Look at California Davis, California Los Angeles, San Diego State University. Lots of kids are getting into there. Let's see what else they have here. Berkeley. Yeah. So they've got some good, some good numbers here. Yeah. I would say it is a great school district. Do your research, ask the questions, overall grade. Brentwood is a B, so we can talk about that in another video. But at the end of the day, you are going to do well in this school district. So it's got A minus. It's not bad. It just depends on what you want. Houses will be more affordable out here. As in Lafayette and San Ramon, you're going to get a little bit more square footage. Some houses, obviously, like townhomes and whatnot, will be a little bit closer quarters. But Brentwood will have a little bit more space as well. So just something to take note of. But that commute is going to be a killer. So if you're going to live here, you're going to want to work in Brentwood if that's possible to be able to afford it. So just something to consideration. And that is my number three on the Contra Costa school districts. Which ones are the top ones? And now we're going on to four. All right. So number four on the list is Martinez Unified School District. So Martinez has an overall grade of an A minus and academics is a B, A minus teachers, clubs and activities, C plus, diversity is A, college prep A, health and safety A. So Martinez Unified School District is great. This is actually close to me and I think that academics are fantastic here as well. This is the map of where you're going to be in this district. So not really over here in Pleasant Hill, you're going to be over on the left near Martinez and like Lafayette's down here. So I would say definitely go on greatschools.org, see what the, the scores are there. But it looks like average SAT score is 1200, graduation rate's 90, so not everyone graduates, but pretty good amount. ICT is 27. And obviously kids are getting into UCs, not as many as the first two. The first three, I guess, first two has the most, which is why they're ranked the highest. You still can get in here if you go through the school district. Diversity, obviously we've got a for that so if that's important to you you're gonna have a good mix of students here from with all different nationalities ratio of teachers is 22 to 1 and I love Martinez I think it's a great upcoming town so something that definitely you can take into consideration I think this median home value is off median rent probably too that's probably much higher I would say this is now in 700s 800s so something to take into consideration when moving on out here we can see the location of Martinez is here and down here is La Mirinda so Martinez is a good little area it's closer than you know Brentwood and Concord would be to the city so I would say do your research go online look at the mom groups see what people's experiences are here I've heard good things and I've heard challenging things about the Martinez School District. So you're going to have that with every district minus my opinion of San Ramon because I lived there and I actually really liked it. <laughs> I didn't have a bad experience. I don't know. I was just maybe I live in a bubble, but definitely look online, check out the Facebook groups and ask the hard questions and see if it's something right for you and check out greatschools.org. All right. Now on to number five, which is Mount Diablo Unified School District. Now, Mount Diablo <laughs> it has a mixed bag. I would definitely look into this school district further online if you're going to be in it or if you're going to be considering schooling in this district because you're going to want to just know more information than I could provide for you in niche.com. So I really like niche.com. It gives you a great kind of overview of it, but I would dive into greatschools.org. I would get on the mommy groups and ask tough questions. I get a lot of questions about this school district and it's just a bit challenged. So I don't go to the schools. I don't know. I'm not in them. I have a three-year-old who's in daycare. So we're in this school district where I live and some people love it. Some people have a lot of challenges with it. So the overall grade is a B and academics B, teachers B plus, clubs and activities C, diversity is A, college prep A, health and safety B minus. So let's take a look at the location. Where you are here is going to be Pleasant Hill, Concord, and parts of Walnut Creek. So if you look here, the elementaries are great. Look at this. You got Sequoia. Sequoia is a lottery school, so you can't 
get in there just very easily. It's a lottery. Valhalla, Water Acres, they have good grades here or good scores. It all varies, you know, like it just depends. I live with a school snob, so we're not going to be in these elementaries or middle schools. The middle schools, definitely check out greatschools.org and just make a comparison for yourself. They've got A minus B plus here. I think that they might be a little bit different on greatschools.org. Now, I can tell you Northgate is amazing. So it just depends on the high schools that you're going to. Ignatio Valley High, B minus, Concord High, B plus. I mean, I would definitely look at these because these ratings are different than greatschools.org. I can tell you right now, Northgate's an excellent school. College Park is mixed bag, you know. I've heard great things about it. I've heard really bad things. So I just say do your research and figure out what's right for you and your family. Obviously there are more kids getting into colleges here and I think that is probably skewed because of Northgate. Northgate's rated really well. It's a really great school. Like it's the reason why it has an A plus. So do more digging than I'm giving um, to here. But I'm just giving you a list of like the different districts and where they're rated. And this is number five on the list of five. So it's the last on the list. Average SATs and ACTs are a little bit lower, but again, I feel like it's probably, College Park is definitely coming up, but I think that Concord High and Ignatio High, you need to really dig deep into and look into those for your own opinions, because I'm not allowed to have an opinion. But here we go. A lot of kids are getting into these different universities, so it's positive, you know what I mean? Let's take a look at the housing ratio. Median home value in Concord is totally off. It's probably the lowest house I've seen in Concord, depending on if it was a fixer upper was 750 so 551 is absolutely wrong and in the Northgate neighborhood you are going to get anywhere from bare minimum of a million probably 1.1 for a total dump that needs to be completely gutted to like two million dollars so that is the grade for that is the number five on the list Mount Dabble Unified School District and don't take my word for Bible God whatever I would get online and do your research as well and see what's right for you and your family because when buying in these areas you have to know that I can tell you living here um, I've had a great time I've not been in the school districts yet I have a little one so I've heard great things about Strandwood and Sequoia I've heard mixed reviews on Gregory Gardens for elementary mixed re reviews on Mount Pleasant Hill Middle, Sequoia here is Great Middle, but you know, you have to decipher what's right for you. I've heard really great things about Pleasant Hill Middle too. So, and again, College Park, great things and really bad things. So you just have to look into it yourself and know that this is going to be ranked number five on the list of five. So it is the last on the list, just something to take note of and do your due diligence when looking for a school district for your kiddos. All right, guys, there you have it, the 411 on all the different school districts in the Contra Costa area, the top five. So I hope that gave you some value. Basically, you're looking at the first, the leader of the pack is Akalani's, and the loser of the pack is, unfortunately, Mount Diablo. I hear great things about both, so do your due diligence online, check them out, do the research, reach out to us. We're happy to give you more opinions on where you can go or how we can help. We're always happy to help. And in the meantime, keep reaching out with those questions. We love hearing about them and we look forward to helping you move to the Bay Area or find out more information to help you relocate. So in the meantime, have a great week. Thanks for staying tuned subscribe, click the like button, do all the things to help that YouTube algorithm go and make sure to share these videos if you know someone moving on over. And I appreciate you. Have a great week and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye guys.